This is an RCA Radiola RC radio. And Westinghouse made this for RCA. It consists of two units. The unit on the right is known as a DA and the unit on the left is known as an RA. Both of these are housed in a mahogany box and it has a nice convenient door on the top so you can get to the three tubes on the right hand side. Here's a look at the back of the radio. Now you could buy this in two separate boxes. So that explains the interesting setup at the top with those heavy wires connected together. Here's a closer look without the wires and I am missing one cap on the antenna. And here's a look at the power connections. Here are both units out of the mahogany box back view. Let's take a look at the DA unit. Here's a picture from the front. That circle at the top, there's a screen there. That allows you to view the tubes to see if they're glowing. Here is the tag that's in the middle of this unit and you can see that it is the detector amplifier type DA. Here's the controls toward the bottom. We have two rheostats, one for the detector on the left and the amplifier filament rheostat on the right. And again, these control the filament voltages which controls the tube performance. Then we have three jacks down at the bottom. All the way over at the left is the detector. Then we can plug in to stage one. And stage two is where I'll have a speaker plugged into this radio. This is a view of one side of the unit. The black item at the lower left, that is one of the audio transformers. It has two. There's one on the other side. And you can also see in the front at the right the rheostat. All three tubes are mounted on a board, but notice that black line that runs across the top there that's a large piece of rubber and that is the shock mount for this and there's another one on the other side now here's a closer look at the bottom of this unit lots of wires and they're all insulated with spaghetti Here's the other side of the unit, and again you can see the black audio transformer. This time it's on the right, and we have another rheostat in the front there at the left. Looks pretty much the same, and you can see the other rubber shock mount for the tubes. Here's a closer look at that section. Here's a look from the top toward the back and that large thing that's looks like a large fuse that's actually 
the grid leak resistor. And some of you will notice this right here. Yes, that's not original. That's a capacitor, and it improves the performance of the radio greatly. And it can be removed 100% with no change to the radio. Now here's a view from the back to the front and you can see that the front has a metal plate behind that Bakelite. And here is a bottom view of the DA unit where you can see both audio transformers and both rheostats. Now on to the RA unit. Here's the front view. At the top we have this nice big tuner and we'll see that when we turn this knob both a large tuning capacitor and an inner coil move together. Here's a view at the bottom and we have a course adjustment that's oh the tickler on the right that's a bunch of contacts and the control on the left that's a very small um, I think it's like three plates variable capacitor. And at the bottom is our tag and it says receiving tuner type RA. And of course they're both by Westinghouse. Here is a view end on here it is I've turned it around and you can see that it also has a metal plate in the front and look at all those contacts here's a closer look at those contacts all those taps there's those contacts and there's the arm that's the tickler control this is the fine adjustment that very small capacitor and here is the tickler you can see all those contacts for all those taps and here's the large capacitor and it moves with a coil inside the larger coil here's a side view of the RA unit and here's the other side and a little bit closer look of this side here's a view from the top down and you can see the big tuning dial at the top and the very large tuning capacitor so let's say you found a good used car you like, but you're wondering, is that price right? You know, you can compare it with other cars just like it from all over North Carolina, don't you? It's easy. Just visit VH.com. V-E-H-I-X.com. Yes, toy Yonathan. Oh, automatic cameras from seventeen nine ninety. Seventeen.